Out of boredom, I've been watching a bit of Overwatch streams recently, and I've noticed people are getting a bit bored of sniper meta, so you know what I thought? It would be nice to have another sniper in game. In this series, I'll show you my concept for heroes in Overwatch based on TF2 classes, and for today's episode, we're going to take a look at previously mentioned sniper. In TF2, sniper's playstyle is pretty much like in most FPS games. Take a good position at the backline of your team, and kill most important targets. In TF2's case, it's generally medics and other snipers, but nothing stops you from being super aggressive and running around the map to search for targets, as quickscope headshot can one-shot half of the classes and heavily injure the rest. However, sniper can also switch his sniper rifle for projectile-based bow, which requires more aggressive positioning, as it's tough to hit shots with this weapon on longer ranges. For my concept, I decided to focus on his main playstyle, revolving around sniper rifle. So when it comes to his stats, he would have 200 HP and move at an average speed. His weapon would be Machina, because it would fit in Overwatch's universe a bit more than sniper rifle and it also has few stats I wanted to use. So it would deal 50 damage per shot and have unlimited ammo, but after every shot sniper would need to reload it, which would take about 1.5 seconds. It would also have no damage falloff and leave trace on each shot. You could also use scope when pressing alt fire. When scoped, sniper would move 75% slower, but his rifle would deal triple damage on headshot instead of standard double damage. He could also charge his shot to deal triple damage and it would take about 4 seconds to fully charge it. After each shot, sniper would automatically unscope. I know ability to deal 450 damage in a single shot sounds overpowered and way better than Widow's Rifle, but I think slower charging and fire rate makes it a bit more balanced. His first ability would be Jarati. When used, Sniper would throw a jar of peace which would slightly burn enemies vision and decrease their movement speed by 20% for 6 seconds. After being used, it would go on 12 seconds cooldown. I think it would be pretty good self-defense tool, which could enable Sniper to escape when attacked or kill the attacker especially because of his next ability, which would be Bushwaka. When used, Sniper would swing his Bushwaka, which would work just like standard melee attack. It would deal 40 damage on hit, but if target was covered in Jarati, it would triple the damage dealt. It would have 5 seconds cooldown. As I said earlier, I wanted Sniper to be able to defend himself if he got jumped on, and I think that with Bushwaka Jarati combo and one shot from his sniper rifle, he would be able to kill one attacker. Now his ultimate, which would be Focus. It would increase shot charge speed by 35% and Sniper wouldn't need to unscope when reloading. However, what's most important about this ability is that it would make shots from sniper rifle penetrate players and barriers. It would last for 10 seconds, and when Sniper would use it, he would automatically unscope. Let's have a go at it. While the ability is very powerful as the only way to hide from the sniper when he's ulting is to use cover provided by the map, I think it would be balanced. 
After all, he would unscoped, which would disallow for situations where Sniper is fully charged, pops his ult and kills either someone hiding behind a shield or player holding his shield to let the team do the rest of the work. So overall, Sniper would be quite similar to Widowmaker, in a sense that they both are supposed to take care of important targets, many supports who don't find a good cover, but at the same time, he would play somewhat differently. After all, he wouldn't have any mobility options, which means he couldn't take some of the positions available to Widow or Hanzo, as well as he has much slower firing speed, and all that for more single shot damage capable of one shotting almost any hero including few tanks, and having ability which I think is way more powerful than Widow's Wallhack. And that's pretty much it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, remember that links to my Twitter, Discord, streaming group and donations are in the description, thanks for watching and see you next time!